Clad in camouflage and desert boots, the students of the ROTC program are the future leaders of the U.S. Army. Training while getting an education, these cadets learn the same values taught in ROTC since the program began in 1896. I spent the day with the Wildcat Battalion to learn about their history with the U of A. The mission of the University of Arizona's ROTC program is to commission future officer leadership and to motivate young people to be better citizens. Future officers have been seen training at the U of A campus since 1896 as a part of the UA's land-grant mission. The way it worked was that the federal government would give the state land and they could use that land to auction off to then pay for a state university. And that state university would then have to focus on agriculture and military sciences. In 1920, the military focus changed from tactics to cavalry instruction. The U of A's polo team used the military horses to play. By the late 1940s, ROTC members were busy helping to save Old Maine. In 1938, it was condemned. But a few years later, the Navy came in and actually saved us. And in 1942, uh, they refurbished all of Old Maine. They brought it up to code. Um, and then that's when ROTC came in. And they had this whole building for their, their facilities and their uses. During World War II, more than 11,000 men received military training at the U of A. All male students were required to take at least two years of ROTC training until 1969 when the Arizona Board of Regents made participation voluntary. U of A graduate David Iflander was involved in the ROTC in the early 1970s. Well, while at the university, uh, I got all the basic skills that you needed to become a second lieutenant. Uh, again, the main thing that was focused on was leadership. You know, how to work with soldiers, how to lead them. Uh, we also did basic skills like uh, map reading, uh, marksmanship. We also did a lot of physical training. It was a combination of various different skills. Cadets today also focus on leadership, technical skills such as map reading, and tactical training such as weapons familiarization and maneuvers. It, it taught me a lot about leadership. Some people say that leaders are born and not made. I, I believe that leaders are made and you have to train to learn how to do that. Last year, the University of Arizona commissioned about 60 ROTC cadets. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Olivia Gransback. According to Cadet Command, Army ROTC has a total of 272 programs located at colleges and universities in the U.S. with an enrollment of more than 20,000. Now I know that you're a member of ROTC. How was it to research some of the history of the program? I think it was a really great learning experience for me to learn about the history as well as do the training. And that's it for this edition of Arizona Cat's Eye, the UA School of Journalism Student News Magazine. We hope you've enjoyed the program. If you'd like to learn more about Arizona Cat's Eye, you can go to our website at ArizonaCat'sEye.com. From the entire Arizona Cat's Eye news team, thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.